skeletal remains of Amazulu Zulu Queen Regent, Manfombi Lamini Zulu, will be fetched by some members of the royal family in Johannesburg today. The Queen passed away in Milpak Hospital last week. The cause of her death remains unclear, while post-mortem results are pending, expected in about two weeks' time. Meanwhile, Eswatini's King Mswati III has sent a delegation to South Africa to help prepare for the burial of the Queen. Senior reporters Pamanda Koke is at Kwakangela Mankenga in a royal palace in Kwanongoma in Kozulu Natal and joining us now on the midday view. Spamandla, earlier when we crossed to you, we saw the convoy beginning to leave uh, the palace making its way to Johannesburg. What's the latest update you can give us at this hour? Good afternoon. Turn to you. Let me tell you that that convoy is en route to Johannesburg. This is what we know so far. So tomorrow morning, the convoy will make its way back to Guazulu Natal via Mpumalanga. So from Gauteng, they will go via Mpumalanga, then to Opongolo, to Nongoma. So that should make them to be here in the afternoon. All we know is that at least by sunset tomorrow, the body must have arrived at Guakangela Mankengane Royal Palace. Guakangela is one of the six palaces of the late King Goodwill Zuelitini Kapegu Zulu. You know, you have other palaces, including uh, Guaketom Tandayo, where everything was done when the king departed. Now, that is his father's palace. When he took over the throne in 1971, he built a house there, as he is known as Isilo Sase You also have a another palace in Yogeni, you have another palace, Linduzu, Lula, Masasa, there is also Ondini. So, but right now we are at Wakangela Mankengane. Let me tell you that I've spotted a very interesting man in the Zulu history and the Zulu royal family. His name is Buze Chenim He is known as the praise singer. He's been with the late king for years. But I'll tell you why he met us. This is the man, as my colleague Nkanyi Somjaloso will show you now, Ubabu Buze Chenim He was part of a delegation that went to Swaziland in 1977 to pay Lobola for the departed queen, who was the princess at the time. Ngoma Anesia Toko Zanges Katsako, Wawuko Nagyolo Cholumdani, Take us back, you know, uh, Nendela Tinazulu, Ebesim Konzeng Ayo, Ibi Mangalis, Kubanjobasa Uge Washonje, Ngo Munye, Wayne, who says Aban and Tasha Gute, is Kate Eoloch Ola, Kubiwa Ink, Omoza Kalapes Bain Wakangalaman Kengane, Is this at so good to Lamino, a new Sangalasos Kati, Is this at to Wabai, Utigawas, Kulmeling, Omez Yolobola, Uta Tuabomba. Eswazi ni kukubo kwa zamini. Kwa landu wa mnagi mchecheni ange na nami nkwenye mesbayen. Ya kombi nko minkabe bo mvengkulu. Eya itelela ngayo. Iona uti hambisi nkomo. Iteleli sizwe. Iteleli nkomo kuba ihambi gali. Ogwa ba impumelele nkulu geloko ngoba mina nje ngwazi kwa mga lelo langa. Impela sasi wakuba makula mabili. Ane nkomo ezi mbili. More than 200, brother, that's what he says. Now, Makula Mabila Nenkomo Ezimbi. Let's say, Figile, I guess, called the Numta Nenko Susebenzile, Naiga Kulung, Skatwens, Umsebens, Wako Jenge, Nyosi, Uyamazi, Abantabaning Bayaz, Utusebenzile, Numpaga, Tua around Unongoma, Iga Kulgaza, Mantom Bazane, Naband Westfazan. Eh, Begunge, Koloko, Gupel, Umta Nenko Sua Figalapa, Wabona, now go to Zeleb Kosin Bawangwa. Uzelwe obkosini obabu sisek. Ngoba ingonyama emzalayo. E ya intanga ingonyama u Solomon la pagitu wazu. Ya kota mea git. Kwangena upusha ozali silulezes kona. Na ye wakota. Manjege bona babe loku bepete intambe loki konjwe ingonyame yotu. Busi saka wabu wabu iloko. Befundiso ngobkosi beba ngani. Ufige lapa wabu kosi. Wakini subkosi. Wakini sisizu ngobkosi. 
you also met the late king of Eswatini Ngwenya Musopu. Zabambalo abantababu ni Ngwenya Musopu. Zawustazele ngalilu langa niyo lobo lushanga na Ngwenya Musopu. Nkase siyo lobo lage kwa tuwekseni. Minafwanele ngambi sumta nengos ayo bingalele skodlin kwa loba. Yatiki Ngwenya mangkulume na makos. Ngati mangiti nyege ke itin la kone sangen. Atuwe na wanjofu na wanjofu bayeti nkunze lukanda albanza. Kwa matatela wati maezwa loku mto mtala. Wapuma nje stezi sake, wati nje vulandu hulu nguza, waise buyele mfa. Kwa ashu tipele itombe, wati skale si ibona na sepota keti, nabonu kuti hiyo. Kwa atike se singena ni nkomo ke, isi shela payake, na ibona kutete. Oko kilina enga kuchable layo, kwa wabaya kuti umzi lo tuwa kukwa lo zita. Watu ngakiwa wakitu ingonyama ya ihamba nami, iyo ubuga numtani nkosi. Oko wabaya inje nkulu, esa ihambi nsuge inta. Governor, Sir Chogos and Skatsako, that is Ubabu Buzeke, Ubuze Chedim Leche. He's the praise singer. He worked with the late Amazulu King Kutuz Velitinka Peguzulu. He was part of the delegation that went to Swaziland to pay Ilobola for the late Queen Regent of Amazulu. Now, earlier, Elias Pamanja, uh, you also managed to speak then from the member of the delegation that King Swati III has dispatched to KwaZulu Natal for the burial of the Queen Regent, and that's Prince Kuduza Dlamini. Indeed, and he says the entire Eswatini kingdom is devastated. They are sad, they are shocked, they would have loved to spend more time with Umtane Kosi, but he was also part of that senior delegation from Eswatini, together with the Zulu royal family members delegation that has gone to Johannesburg. Let's listen to him explaining about how they received the news of the passing of Umtane Kosi. We don't have much to say, except that, you know, we are deeply saddened uh, by the loss of our sister, uh, who is now the Queen Regent, who has been the Queen Regent uh, for the Zulu for the Zulu Nation, we were we were hoping that we would still be with her, so he could be able to take her to nature, the future King of the Zulus. So we just leave everything unto the hands of God, who knows better than all of us what the future holds. But the Swazis, the whole Swazi people, His Majesty, the Indovogaz, the entire Swazi nation, they are deeply saddened. Everywhere you go, people say, oh, it happened much too early. We do understand we all, we all, we all gonna go one day, but we are were, we were hoping that we will still be having her, at least for a couple of years. Spamanda, uh, earlier today, uh, when we crossed to you about an hour ago, we also saw Umtu Anawaka Pindangene, the traditional Zulu Prime Minister, Prince Mangusudu Telezi, but there have been government delegations there as well today, or ministers from, from the South African government paying their respects, the likes of Fukabazela, Dr. Zulimkiz. Indeed, and uh, it was to be expected that Dr. Zulubikize will come here to pay his respects. When he was the Premier of Kwazulu Natal, he worked very well with the Royal House. But he had a special relationship with the late King Kutu Zulitinika Peguzulu. When he was in hospital, of course, they have, if my memory serves me well, they met somewhere around the early. 80s, 1980 or 1979, that's when their friendship and relationship grew. But when the king was in hospital, he was one of those medical personnel who will go inside to monitor on the king. But he had a very special relationship with the Zulu royal family, and he knew Umtan and Kosi. But all of them, those who have come here, they are urging the royal family members to unite, stop the public spats. Listen to Dr. Zulim Kiza. We worked very closely with His Majesty the King. We worked with the Queens, uh, particularly dealing with issues of promoting, uh, you know, uh, abstinence and fighting against HIV and AIDS, and promoting various programs to bring people together. Uh, you know, so it was, you know. There was a lot of cultural activities that uh, the Queen was involved in. Uh, we were very saddened by her departure. We have obviously seen that there are uh, quite a number of uh, public issues that are being discussed. Our appeal would be for uh, both uh, you know, the members of the royal family uh, uh, as well as uh, the 
uh, all those who are in the leadership to come together. We have just been sharing that with Sheng uh, Mdonaga uh, Pindangen, that it would be really helpful if uh, together with the members of the royal family, everyone could come together to discuss the issues. It's inevitable that there will be tensions when there are difficulties, but what is important is uh, for all of us to work together. The royal family has to come together, work together so that everyone else is able to give the necessary support. We know that uh, the Queen has been unwell for quite a number of years. It's been a very difficult time, but nevertheless we also know <clears throat> that uh, when the situation has arisen like what it has now done, it becomes very uh, confusing, it becomes very sad and painful. Uh, but we really hope that uh, we can get all of us working together, and particularly the members of the Royal House uh, to come together, resolve whatever issues there are, and prepare for a very peaceful send-off of the Queen. Ms. Dr. Zulim Keys are there. Now, Ms. Pamanda, as we conclude this crossing with you now, appealing for cool heads, appealing for peace and unity. We've had these sentiments expressed by various leaders since yesterday. Hopefully the Zulu royal household is listening and listening carefully because one of the questions that will arise, I mean, Thursday is not far away. The Queen Regent was like standing in ahead of the coronation of the next king who's yet to be confirmed. So one wonders what happens next after Thursday. Are we going to have a vacuum on the Zulu Kingdom's throne? According to Prince Mangosu Tubuteli, the traditional prime minister of the Zulu nation, that is not going to be the case. There will be no leadership vacuum. But let me tell you that there are different and various factions within the Zulu royal family. These tensions are playing out now simply because at the center and the gist of it is the issue of succession, which the royal family knows very well that it cannot be avoided. Now, let's tell you what we are hearing from our royal sources. The remains of the departed Queen Regent will be interred at the crack of dawn on Thursday. So from Thursday morning to Friday, the following day, there will be some few hours whereby royal family members will gather together, have a meeting, so that on Friday there will be that official funeral, which we expect that will be a provincial funeral. But we are still waiting for the confirmation from the Premier of Wazul Natal, Sikhazigalala, having written to the presidency requesting that she be granted that special official provincial funeral. Now, on Thursday, the likelihood is that the issue of succession will be discussed to avoid that leadership vacuum. But let me tell you what one side of the family wants, what one faction wants. On Friday, they are calling for the announcement of the successor. That's one faction. There is another faction which says it's too early, it's too soon. Let's mourn. After that, let's meet and discuss the issue of succession, who will take over the throne. So there is a possibility that by Friday, depending on whichever faction wins the, the the debate and the argument of the day, it's possible that by Friday you could hear an announcement of the successor, whether on an interim basis or the official candidate who's being nominated to take over the throne. However, that might not happen too should the other faction win the debate of saying let's mourn for three months, let's allow processes to take place, consultations, because as we speak, there is no consensus. It seems as if these divisions are very, very deep here. So the issue of succession will continue to be a thorn in the flesh up until there is that announcement. Whether it will happen on Friday or not, it remains to be seen. Thank you very much, Pamanja Koke, uh, with that uh, latest crossing there from the Royal Palace uh, in uh, Guanongoma.